U.S. to manufacture long-range missiles for HIMARS in Australia for needs of Ukraine. The United States plans to open the first foreign factory in Australia for the production of guided multiple launch rocket systems for the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System for Reactive Salvo Fire Systems. The ammunition will be directed to the needs of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, informs the Wall Street Journal. The source notes that Lockheed Company plans to hire six Australian engineers to prepare and launch production. The decision was made because the US defense industry cannot meet demand and quickly replenish rocket stocks. The rapid consumption of munitions in Ukraine and the Middle East, from missiles to artillery shells, has strained the ability of the US industrial base to meet demand and replenish depleted stocks. The Biden administration is seeking to develop multiple production lines across allied nations for critical weapons, though that isn't easy, writes the Wall Street Journal. Australian officials note that the first batch of 12 GMLRS rockets is planned to be tested by the end of 2025 and by 2030 the country expects to produce thousands of ammunition annually. Obstacles to the implementation of the plan may include a shortage of personnel, transportation difficulties and a deficit of necessary production components. Rocket production is planned at a military base on the outskirts of Sydney. The publication emphasizes that this is the first plant outside the US to produce such weapons. GMLRS rockets are manufactured by the American company Lockheed Martin. They are equipped with a satellite guidance system and can hit targets up to 80 kilometers away. On March the 12th, the United States announced a new package of assistance to Ukraine worth $300 million. Among other items, it includes artillery shells and GMLRS rockets for HIMARS. Lithuania's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Gabrielos Landsbergis, stated that Ukraine needs not 40 but 400 HIMARS launchers to win the war against Russia. Previously, the U.S. tested new rockets for the HIMARS rocket artillery systems. In the morning of March 14, the Gravoroy district of the Belgorod region of Russia opened fire from the territory of Ukraine. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that one of the shells fell into the forensic examination building. The population was warned to go to shelters. The governor of Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said that one person was injured as a result of the shooting. He also said that three cars were damaged and several houses were damaged. A warning was issued about the missile safety in the Belgorod area. To IT should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in course can conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Блин, что творится? Приехал, глянь, у у Мантулева он яма, блядь. Машины стекла повылетали.
и в детской везде все окна подбила. Окна вылетели.